She's taking advantage of you. She's got an inflated idea of her own importance, and people like you are just encouraging that. She picked me up the whole school. Never even been near a dead famous person before. Yeah, but she's dead famous for doing absolutely nothing. <sighs> Don't think anyone's coming, Pete. Well, let's give him another five minutes. You'll have to face it. You've been upstaged by somebody new and shiny. Maybe. Don't worry, it happens to us all. <clears throat> yeah, well, it shouldn't. Older the berry, sweeter the wine. That's what I say. I, am. Um, I should go and check on the other guests. <laughs> oh, they'll be fine. Say so. You are the best guy I could ever ask for. With you, I've experienced sights of life that will never leave me. It's just we've come to a time where our ways go so far. Maybe to me, I've thought of another one. Probably not. Why are yawns infectious? We have never had a problem with it. Although, that's not what the silly cow said when she sold a story to the papers. I reckon that's the best bit of advice I can give you. The only person you should trust is yourself. Everybody else will stab you in the back given half a chance, believe me. Especially if there's money involved. Who's next? Are you rich then? Me? Yeah. I'm loaded. <laughs> <laughs> they say money can't buy your love. I say... Who needs love when you've got six bedrooms, a swimming pool, and your own stables? <laughs> Next. Did you always want to be a model? No, I was going to be a nurse. Now there's a profession worth considering. Picked all the right subjects for it. So what happened? Couldn't be asked doing the exams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. What really happened is I did my first topless shots at 16, and then I never looked back. There is a problem being a model for a living, though, isn't there, Sarah Leanne? Name one. Well, for a start, your career doesn't last very long, does it? I've been doing it for six years. Right, and how long would you say you've got left? How should I know? Well, we all know from the magazines that everyone seems to read that they are only really interested in very young women. I suppose uh, what I'm saying is that even if you want to get into you know, glamour modelling, you still need to think about qualifications for getting a real job as well. Left school as soon as I could, me. That was before the exams. So you didn't get any qualifications? Not one. They all went on at me about having something to fall back on. But I've showed them, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, one more. Oh, sorry. Out of time, I'm afraid. Um, right, well, this is your last session, so let's go. Come on, everybody. Any of you who haven't spoken to Aziz yet, you are missing out on a treat. I'm not going to ask you again. Come on, move on. Yeah, miss, we want to stay here. You said we could go to any of the sessions we wanted. Well, because she was late. We didn't have a full lesson with Sarah and Yeah. Fine. I'm dry. <laughs> Right. Where were we? Penis and tired with your hair grow long. I was looking at you. Are you ready then? Ah, oh, come on, you're not nervous, are you? Babe, all you're doing is a couple of haircuts. Alright, you could do that in your sleep. I know. Babe, just act as though the examiner's not even there, man. Yeah? I mean that's what I'm gonna do. Just another normal day in the workshop as far as I'm concerned. Just another day. Just another day. Come on. For this exam, you'll be expected to colour and highlight your model's hair before... Cleaning and replacing the spark plugs. After that, I want to see... A good cut and finish with a blow dry. You'll be marked on the right use of products... And the proper tools. Any questions? You may begin.
the surgery that the papers say I have. But you've had some. Yeah, of course. A girl can't get by without a little bit of lipo here and a little bit of Botox there. Better than dieting or sticking your fingers down your throat every time you eat. <laughs> or you could try, that some of you may have heard of this, the natural way. Just accept that you're getting older, eat healthily and do a little bit of exercise. Does it hurt? I mean, plastic surgery. Yeah. It feels like a three-car pile-up. But then the nice doctor comes along with some nice little white pills and before you know it, he sat up in bed, flicking through this week's edition of Hello magazine. I'd rather have a boob job than go on holiday. Uh, no, let's get something clear here. A lot of these women are having surgery for all the wrong reasons. Because their man wants them to, or because they've got a bad body image. Because they see models and think that it's glamorous to be a stick insect. You have to suffer to be glamorous. Please, Sarah Leanne, we really need some truth in this. The truth. The truth about how I'm ashamed about what I do for a living. That every time I take my clothes off for a photo shoot, I feel violated. And that no matter how much money I've got, it won't stop me from feeling lonely. Is that what you want me to say? If that's the truth, then yeah. Well, it's not. It's a load of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm not so sure that that isn't the real Sarah Leanne. Or if not for you, then for thousands of women who make the mistake of thinking that surgery is going to solve all the problems. Don't get me wrong, love. I couldn't give a monkeys about what you think about me. Why doesn't that surprise me? Teachers do gooders. You go on about kids having choices, but only choices that you approve of. Yeah, I take my clothes off for a living, but that was my choice, and I make a lot of money doing it. Yeah. I've had a little bit of work done, but I think I look pretty good. And as for the parties and champagne, you want to try it, darling. It's brilliant. You know what's a real shame? That brain of yours could have been put to such good use. But if you want to carry on partying for England, fine. Right. Any more questions? Well, nothing serious, as in a let's go down the aisle together, but um, me and the previous headmaster, Jack, Jack Rimmer, we had um, a thing going on for quite a long time. Years, in fact. And what happened? He, um... Well, he was, um, too clingy. I want to know who used to pop your cork. I bet, right, Tracy Draper is your type. <laughs> no. Okay. Gillian Howison? No. Oh. You were my funniest woman, actually. <laughs> Probably your worst nightmare these days. No, no, you've still got it going on, Miss Haydock. Well, you certainly have a way with words, Pete. Look, <clears throat> would it be weird if I were to say ask you out yeah yeah it would be weird oh uh, okay but as I happen to like weird you can pick me up after school <laughs> <laughs>